Esava, this is GF Laserbolt from GamerFusion.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to farm Dragon Balls. You're going to go to quest uh, number 2, Prepare to the Attack of the Saiyan. Once you guys go to the Prepare to the Attack of the Saiyan, you're going to go ahead and I'll show you guys exactly what it is that you guys need to do. You're probably wondering why do I need to farm Dragon Balls, what are Dragon Balls needed for? Basically you do need a total this. of 7 Have Dragon Balls prayers? to be able to grant make a wish. So you can make a wish and pick up an extra character or you can pick up different types of uh, of attacks. But you need all 7 Dragon Balls and there's only one way to farm them and this is the best way I found. So this is Prepare Attack of the Saiyan. Basically what you're going to want to do is when you go to this this um, world or this mission, you're going to be forced to fight 3 different characters. Now you're going to fight uh, Tien and uh, uh, Krillin and I forgot the name uh, Yansha, uh, of these characters. After you kill all 3 characters... You're gonna but get a um, another person that spawns. Now, this doesn't happen every single time. It happens randomly. It could be um, sometimes you get the character to spawn, sometimes you don't get the character to spawn. It all depends on uh, you know. It's kind of like RNS. It's pretty much. It just you just gotta keep doing it and doing it until you happen. So what I do is I kill all three of them. I check if the guy spawns. If the guy doesn't spawn, I hit my menu button and hit we try and start the match all over until the guy spawns. So. Right now, you're gonna see after we kill, we kill these these guys. We're gonna get the portal open. So you're not gonna want to go through the portal. As soon as the portal unlocks, you're gonna go jump in there, and you're gonna see if there's a character that spawns right there at that point where I'm at. You're gonna click B and you press yes, and then you will start fighting him. Once you start fighting him, you're gonna make sure you kill him really, really quickly. I mean, you don't have to kill him. What I found is uh, you have to uh, pretty much kind of finish him with a super. Um, I did this about for the for one character spawn. I did it a total of seven times two character spawns. But uh, after I killed the two characters, I didn't get the key item, which is one of the key things I want to show you guys that you're supposed to make sure you double check when you get it. Uh, so as you see right there, it says you got a material item. You're gonna want to wait until you see if it says you got a key item. If you got a key item, that means you got a Dragon Ball. If you didn't get a Dragon Ball, it doesn't say you got a key item. You're gonna want to go ahead, hit the menu button, and restart. As soon as he says you got a key item, you're gonna go to the portal, and then you're gonna have to go fight Gohan and Piccolo. Make sure though, please, please make sure that when you guys go through the portal, you do not die because if you die, it will automatically reset everything and you will not get that Dragon Ball. So please make sure that when you guys go through the portal, you kill Gohan and Piccolo without having any problem or any issue. Just go ahead and try to kill him. Uh, uh, it doesn't really matter how you kill him or anything like that. It just matters that you kill him without dying. Because if you die, it will automatically reset everything and you're going to have to start all over again. So make sure you keep that in mind. Do not die. Fuck. So, uh, uh th my friend categorized uh, Vital and um, uh, told me about this system. I mean, I was currently doing it another way, but this one seems to be working more effectively. You get the guy to spawn a lot quicker. We also, uh, categorized in Vital World, we're also, you know, keeping track that when the character spawns on the bottom, it reactivates your, uh, your little thing that tells you what, where to go. Um, that will tell you what level the character is. And the higher level it is, the more likely you are able to get a Dragon Ball. So after you kill Piccolo, um, you're gonna go ahead and kill Piccolo right off the bat, and then you're just gonna wanna do this until you get all seven Dragon Balls. Once you get all seven Dragon Balls, you guys are good to go. Um, I will be making another video of the wish I made and what I ended up getting with my uh, 7 Dragon Balls. So make sure you guys keep that unlocked. But this is the by far the fastest way to get all 7 Dragon Balls. Now do keep in mind, once you collect all 7, it doesn't mean that you're already done. You can go ahead and collect another 7 to make Got another wish, another 7 to make another wish, and so forth and felt. so forth. So this is the best way I found to do it. So as you see right there, it says 3 star Dragon Ball collected. So one time it will be a 3 star, 2 star, three, uh, 4 star, 5 star, 6, 7 star. Well guys, I hope this video was helpful and informative and it was. Make sure you guys leave a comment and a like. And don't forget guys, for all things Dragon Ball Universe, head over to GamerFusion.com where we empower your gaming.